So I get this question a lot. How did you start playing violin? How did you start playing music? I just started when I was five. I started playing piano. You know, my parents both were working, so they had to put me somewhere. That's how I started. That's what I was thinking until now. And recently I was thinking a lot about it. How, how did I became a musician? And I realized that it was my father who really loved singing. <laughs> and I remember we, every time we go for a walk or we were driving, driving, he was always teaching me um, like 60s, 70s, Korean pop song. And he would explain me the lyrics, the beautiful lyrics, and I would sing with him all the time. So I know all the um, old Korean pop song, like any genre. <laughs> My father recently passed away, and that's why I was thinking about them more. I don't want to cry here, but um, yeah. That's. Um, my, I re that's when I realized my passion and love to music grew um, slowly since I was young. I think I get, I get inspired mostly through traveling, I think traveling and um, also meeting people. <laughs> And speaking of traveling, I cannot not talk about my experience during the pandemic. In May 2020, my boyfriend and I got a 71 Volkswagen bus, camper van, and we just left. We hit the road and we just started playing for people, whoever we meet on the road. Mostly for the workers at the farms and winery. If farmers, they, they were picking strawberries or tomatoes, we would play just in front of them. It's very different experience. You know, we used to play for hundreds of thousands of people at a hole, but it was, you know, outside in front of the tomatoes, playing for one people who don't know anything about classical music, who never heard of classical violin and it was very moving and touching experience. They just take it as music. They were very moved and um, I felt like we were doing something very important and meaningful. Um, we did that for five months. We were on the road for five months and it's a, it was a life experience, and I know that I grew up already <laughs> during these five months so much. Oh, also the nature, nature, even I saw so many spectacular uh, views, and we went a lot of nature, the national parks. Every time, you know, you are in a, this huge, humongous national park, <laughs> and you realize how smart you are, <laughs> but also you feel very thankful to be able to just leave. And that's where I get my inspiration. Even when I drove here today, it was so beautiful that, oh, I feel so thankful that I can see this and I can come to play this beautiful music with wonderful, people and I feel just blessed. I like to take photo but not not digital photo but I like to do film black and white photo. Um, actually I have all the equipment at home to develop the film. <laughs> I have a little dark room that I could make. I started doing it in college. I had, I was a part of a photo club, and that's how I discovered this beauty of black and white photo. There is a special atmosphere that only black and white film 
photo can make. Yeah, it, I think actually it is very related to the music we play here at, with ABS. So honestly, when I was young, I didn't get to know about before Bach's music. <laughs> I have to say I knew Vivaldi and Bach, but not much before. And when I first heard um, like the, the piece I'm going to play, Fever, or even Bach's, you know, other works that I couldn't um, get to know much, like B minor mass that I played with um, ABS Academy last year, you know, in 2019. Those pieces, like, I was, whoa, this is a, such a new word. I was discovering a new word that I felt everyone should know this piece. If people don't know these pieces, those kind of pieces, and I, I, I thought they would be really sad. So I feel like I have a mission to play more, more of those kind of uh, pieces for for people. And I'm very, um, again, I'm very honored to be able to be part of ABS. 